Broadcast Center. This is KDKA-TV News at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for being with us here on KDKA News at Noon and CBS News Pittsburgh. There are new developments in a recent bail bond scam. The Allegheny County Sheriff says they arrested a man from Georgia who potentially stole more than $35,000. And as our Brianna Smith reports, they're just awaiting for him to be extradited to Pittsburgh. The Allegheny County Sheriff says Richard Long tricked people into paying him thousands of dollars to avoid going to jail or paying a fine. But the sheriff says he did not act alone. Sheriff Kevin Krause says he believes the 48-year-old had more people help him commit these crimes, and he plans to arrest more people and file additional charges. Krause says Long called health care professionals and identified himself as a sheriff's deputy or U.S. Marshal. He allegedly told the victims they failed to appear in court as an expert medical witness, and to avoid jail time, they had to pay thousands of dollars. With help of surveillance video and witnesses, Krause says detectives went to Georgia and arrested long. Now they're looking deeper into his case and location. We have made arrests in the past um, from people in Georgia actually incarcerated in the prison system in Georgia that organized this scam. And we're not sure if it's related to that or if it's separate, but certainly when it goes right back to Georgia, it seems there might be a connection. That's what we're looking into. The sheriff says right now, Long is facing several charges, including theft by deception, theft by unlawful taking, and impersonating a public servant. If you recognize Long or fell victim to one of his scams, call the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office. Reporting downtown, Brianna Smith, KDK News. That type of money, you just don't even know what you would do. If you're going to win it, you've got to be in it. Right tonight, you had the chance to turn $2 into life-changing money. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is worth more than $800 million. That's the fourth largest prize in lotto history. And the cash option is worth more than $470 million. Certainly a lot of money, right? No one has won the jackpot since April 15th, but now you have the chance to take it all. So you're the lucky winner. What do you do next? Well, certainly watch out for some scams. Some scammers falsely identify themselves as lottery employees to steal money. We also have more with our Ken Rice tonight on this. He'll be delivering the winning Mega Millions numbers. That's what our graphic here lets you know. But here are the tips that I'm talking about. Secure your ticket also. Make copies to show lawyers or even accountants. And keep the original ticket stored in a safe place. Also, protect your privacy with this. Keep your big win a secret before you turn in your ticket. And be prepared to change your contact information. And, of course, make a plan about what you want to do with the money to help you stay on track. All right, let's bring Ken Rice back here. Be sure to join the KDK News team at 11 tonight for the winning Mega Millions numbers. Ken Rice and the whole gang tonight will give you the local news and weather right here on KDK. Turning now to traffic, part of the red line of the T is now closed for emergency repairs. This is happening on the inbound tracks between the Palm Garden and Castle Shannon stations. PRT says riders traveling inbound should use the outbound platform to take a rail shuttle to the St. Anne's station and transfer to a red, blue, or silver line car. Also, a heads up for you, the T is still shut down for passengers trying to get to the North Shore. Crews are moving in some construction equipment. Shuttle buses are running every 20 minutes from the Gateway Station on Sandwick Street to the North Side Station on General Robinson Street and the Allegheny Station on Allegheny Avenue. The closure is expected to end tonight. Fast forwarding to tomorrow, a long-term lane closure begins along Route 28 in O'Hara Township. PennDOT says the southbound ramp to Fox Chapel Road closes to traffic around the clock through mid-August. Crews will be conducting roadway constructions and paving operations. This closure will go into effect at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we have the posted detour on our website. Want to check it out? KDK.com. Today, the first two beams delivered to the site of the new Fern Hollow Bridge are in place and more are on the way. 21 beams will be used in all. They're traveling 124 miles to Regent Square from a concrete company in Roaring Springs in Blair County. When all the beams are set, the deck will then be installed, possibly within six months. Uh, PennDOT is expecting the bridge to be fully open by the end of the year. Let's turn now to your forecast. Can we call it a terrific Tuesday? Sure feels like it. Temperatures are in the 70s right now, and it almost feels kind of like spring rather than summer. So let's get the details on this change with our KDK First Alert meteorologist, Kristen Emery. What a change. 
refreshing. I think a lot of people are going to take advantage of this. And, and the big difference is the humidity level yeah. because yesterday we had the comfortable temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s, but through the day it gradually got a little less sticky. Today we're enjoying the benefits of those low dew points, and it does. It feels very, very nice out there. It's been so warm, and we've only had four days that we've hit 90 degrees in Pittsburgh officially this summer, but we've had a lot of high temperature days in the upper 80s and very high dew points, warm overnight lows. So a very warm July ending. Now we're starting off the last uh, Tuesday of July on a very refreshing note. Little cloud cover is going to stick around and you can see a couple of showers down to the south. There's the, the, the frontal system that pushed through here Sunday, Monday and touched off all of those storms. It sort of stalled out to our south and it's going to bring a chance of a couple of those showers swinging by. For those of you, say, in Fayette, Green, Washington counties this afternoon, maybe as far north as the South Hills or even downtown Pittsburgh. But most of us are going to stay dry at least up until mid to late afternoon. Just a couple of showers to the south later on. And comfortable temperatures. We're at 75 degrees under mostly cloudy skies right now. And we only get up to a high near 80 degrees. Lows tonight again in the mid-60s. And then you see those shower chances late tonight and through the morning tomorrow. We'll have an increasing chance for a couple of little showers sneaking in here. And then later tomorrow afternoon and evening and really each day to end the week there's a chance we could have a couple of thunderstorms. We'll time those out and talk about whether they could prompt some flooding concerns coming up in my first alert forecast. Kristen, thank you. Today, union employees with Planned Parenthood are rallying for their protection. They're heading to the city county building, calling for what they say is a fair contract and higher wages. Workers for Planned Parenthood of Western PA voted to form their union more than a year ago. Since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, their offices in Western Pennsylvania are dealing with an influx of patients. And workers say that's put more strain on them, and they say it's time for a new deal. A man is fighting for his life after an assault in downtown Pittsburgh. Police say this happened around 8 o'clock last night along Smithfield Street. We're working to learn what prompted the attack and what exactly happened. But police can confirm to us that one person was taken into custody.